Hey everybody out there, this is Chris Nicholson, and this right over here, this is my Core T2, and I know I've been doing teaser videos about it, and I am going to make a full review of this Core T2, and why this is my favorite synthesizer of all time, that I just totally adore. Um, okay, so I was doing a little operation on it, and I can show you what I was doing. So if I go to Programs, and something like 90, 99, which is the Whistler. What happened is that I wasn't getting any aftertouch. And a lot of people don't know what aftertouch is. When you press a key, you get a sound, of course. But once, you, instead of pressing the modulation wheel, or there is a modulation joystick, once you press it harder on a keyboard, you get that modulation. So I'm just pressing it down. And you can also hear that on a synth brass. So synth brass is like 92, A92. And what it is, it's a little ribbon right underneath the action. And it controls what the pressure is for the modulation. You can also adjust it. So I'm gonna put this on a stand and I'm gonna show you what I did exactly. All right, so you got the stand right here. Let's flip the keyboard over. And what I did was basically, number one is that you wanna tighten up your action. So there's screws underneath here that you have to tighten up. If these are loose, then the whole keyboard will make clacking noises and clacking sounds and everything like that. So your action screws are right over here. Number two is that you wanna tighten up the top action screws which is right here. This, this is the key bed screws. So you want to tighten up all your screws. All right, so here is the fun part, which is going to be right over here by the, um, right by the disk drive, floppy disk drive. You see this control right over here? And it's hard to see it because it's kind of blurry. I'm sorry about that. But this control, this is gain. You have two little switches right here, two little it looks like a uh, Phillips screwdriver um, screws right here. My tripod just fell. But um, you can adjust those with your hand. So one of them is the gain, and the other one is to adjust the, um, the expression, basically. So once that you adjust the right density or capacity that you, that you um, have in it, then once you press a key, like say for instance, uh, it's hard for me to do this with um, one-handed, <laughs> and my tripod just fell, but um, say for instance, I'm going to switch hands, and you adjust the gain and the other wheel to your liking as you press a key. And... That's it, basically. So I just wanted to show you. It's a nice little tip. This works on a Yamaha SY77. Also, it works on the Casio uh, MZ2000 and all the older Casio uh, keyboards that are like synthesizers. So just wanted to show you that. Uh, another thing that I wanted to show you is that for you people that are M1 or T3 or T-Series lovers, um, over here... This board right over here, that is your EX board. That the EX board gives you samples and it gives you um, it gives you ability to actually um, upload wave files or or just say different kind of sample files on there. I don't know if they're actually wave or AIFF, but you, there's a machine that you can sample stuff and load it straight into the T series, which is really cool. The M series has that capability too if it's an EX model. So this is a T2 EX. So thank you so much for, let me put this back without destroying it. Thank you so much for watching my videos, everybody. And I just wanted to show you the capability of what this beautiful instrument can do. So not only have a synth brass and now I can play back on the tripod.
and just to show you I'm getting to bring it over here and just to show you right here said not only that you don't have to touch and you can vary the speed of just like the modulation wheel onto your um, aftertouch, which is really cool. And the key action is not as clacky and not as noisy as it usually should be. Only thing that I'm working on now, which probably might be my next video, is basically putting a piece of felt strip on the top of the you know on the top of the action right over here just like how I did with my um, with my Corey PA one pro and what it does it quiets the action a lot more see that felt strip right there so that's my next thing to do is actually put a felt strip right onto the T2 and a T3 that I have which is right over there and that acquired the action a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to play with this keyboard uh, today, and it's going to be a lot of fun, and hopefully I can do a live stream or video. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching my videos. Please click like, subscribe, follow me on everything, and go to my website, www.chris, K-R-I-S-N-I-C-H-O-L-S-O-N.com. Bye-bye.